What's up everyone? Tindo here. That there's Hannah. Let me tell you what we're going to do today and then we'll chat for a little bit and then we'll get into the meat of what we plan on doing. Um, we're going to play Pogs. Uh, not only do we have a Pog Stadium sent to us by one of you guys. If you're here watching, I hope you'll comment let us know and talk to us about this Pog Stadium, but I don't know if you'll show up for this or not. Um, We've got like a little rule book here, so we'll read the rules together, talk about playing, and then maybe even we'll play some custom matches. If any of you ever played Pogs with your own custom rules growing up, maybe you could tell us what your rules were, and we'll play that way. But let's chat a little bit before we get into this. I'll tell you what I propose. You guys can, can suggest something otherwise. You can suggest something otherwise. I just figured we'll do a two out of three. Okay. We'll play a match. We'll chat. We'll play another match. We'll chat. And maybe the stack of Pogs will get higher every match that we do. You know what I mean? Uh, but everybody comment. Everybody hit the like button before we get started. But also comment below. Or not comment below. Comment here in the chat. Um, if you had Pogs and if you played with them as a kid or just collected them, I'd be curious to know. Because I don't know if we ever played or not, but I sure had a lot of them. Uh, but let's check out who's here. Harry Potter Freak, welcome, welcome. Uh, Clean Out Crew, welcome, welcome. Glad you're here. Young Smooth, Kevin Snug, what's up? Glad you're here. Aaron, my man, Ambiguously Brown, thanks for stopping by. What up, what up? We are going to play some Pogs, I'm telling you. It's going to be good. I'm very excited about it. Uh, my Pog Stadium was the playground. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. I I don't... I think when I had them, it was grade school. I don't remember when they were popular, what the years were. We'll have to look at some, like, dates on some of this copyright stuff. But, like, I, I, never, I don't have any memories taking them to school. 1994, that makes sense. I would have been five. You would have been two? Two. <laughs> I would have been Almost five. Almost two. I would have been five years old if this is the heyday. I mean, this is copyrighted in 1994. Um, I didn't take him to school or nothing. I had a bag full of them yard, from a yard sale at the age of probably five or six. I don't know if I knew where they were by the age of ten or not. I really don't remember. Uh, glad the shirt I got you fit. It does. It's a little snug in the guns. Well, but... <laughs> stop being so beefy. <laughs> yeah, I really, I put it on. And, and I was like, I felt squeezed in the arms. Um, I watched you put it on, and I was like, mm, muscle teeth. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Clint Out Crew says he would have been 5'2". That's awesome. Hey, Tindo and Hannah. Uh, from the Dominic, from Dominic in Jersey. Cool. What's what? up, man? Welcome, welcome. I was 9 in 1994. Close enough. We're about roughly the, the same age. Uh, I'm old man. How old are you, Aaron? <laughs> you want to tell us? What's up from Washington? Welcome. Glad you're here. Our cat just knocked something off. Oh, our cat just jumped on top of my computer. Cool. Great. Cool, cool. cool. Knocked off all our documents. It's fine. Uh, <laughs> maybe Hannah can after the sleep, alter the sleeves for you. Ah, uh, they just need to be stretched out. It's not that bad. It's just like, you know, the flab. You know what I mean? <laughs> I was like, you don't want to show off your muscles, but I guess you don't want to show off your flab. Yeah, that's what it is. 39. I was 13 in 1994. Oh, wow. You are old now. You're not... I, you're 39? I thought you were like 34, 35. Um, we're going to play some Pogs. I'm pretty excited about it. Does anybody have any better suggestion than just the two out of three? I don't know. I, we're going to read the rules together according to this rule book. I don't know how official this is, but what part of Pog don't you understand? It looks pretty official to me. I mean, that is the Pog monkey guy? I don't it's, know. It's <laughs> folded 18 and a half by 11. It's, it's got to be legit. Um... It's been a long time since I had a channel that truly gets me excited every time I see something new from them. I love you guys and all you do. Also, yes, I'm still working on a package for you guys. Thank you so much for saying so. Uh, we we try to only do stuff we're excited about. Uh, so that creates problems when it comes to YouTube because YouTube wants to, you know, wants you to do something specific and stick with it. But we kind of just, we get bored getting a new thing. We're into Pogs now. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, Richard says he would have been zero, LOL. Uh, yeah. Yep. You, were you born in 94? That's pretty cool. Um, let's see. How's it going, Henda, Hannah Tindo? Been using the backhand layup lately? Not exactly sure what that means. 
So uh, <laughs> is that a is that a basketball question specifically? I don't know. I really don't. <laughs> um, put on some pog commercials. They're pretty cool. I bet they are. I can't even imagine. I can't even imagine what a pog commercial would look like. Um, I was three in ninety four. Uh, I bet a pog also... commercial is very like, like, hype, competitive. Like, hey man, let's get some pogs and go to the playground and I'm gonna beat you. Right. Well, any <laughs> any gaming thing from back then is pretty gnarly. Like Beyblade commercials from when I was a kid. I I don't remember why I was looking them up, but I looked some up a while back and it was just like, it it made it look more like uh, what's the book with the kids on the island. Uh, my brain went to boxcar children, which is with the conch right. shell and the the whatever oh. it is. It made it look seem like that. Like these kids are about to kill each other with these Beyblades. <laughs> and when the, it's like the the Nerf commercials are like it's Nerf or nothing. Yeah, well they still say that in the Nerf commercials today. I was sixteen and ninety four. I remember those commercials. That's awesome. Uh, I'd play some on here. We could l well, but they've increased copyright restrictions on that. I don't want to get tagged for nothing, but I will Google them when we're done. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Tall Gamer says she's he, they're the oldest, 27 and 94. Wow. Uh, you're 27 now, aren't you? I am. I'm pointing at you over here because I'm looking at you on the computer. Uh, what up, Tindo? What up, what up, Super Fast Tortoise? I love your username. That's awesome. Uh, Crossfire Commercial and Hype. I'm gonna, we're gonna have to look at them later. Um, I remember Crossfire too. That was a fun game, but it was like a little. I don't know. the The board that we had was like super cardboard, so yeah. you'd like shoot the crossfire and it'd be like warped, so it really wouldn't work well. Lord of the Flies, yes, Purple Heart. I don't know why I couldn't remember. There I've read is. the book six thousand times. I just couldn't think of it. Uh, thank you very much. Um, I wasn't even thought of in '94. I was born in '02. <laughs> well, hey, it's cool. Welcome, anyways. Um, that's funny. Yeah, my, I, I, I had to think about it real hard. You're, I, it's, he, she's born the same year as my little brother, 92, so it, either way, it's easier for me to remember. Um, how, is anybody excited about playing Pogs? I am. I think, like... I, I, I really am, especially because we know how to play now, and we have this beautiful stadium, Like, and we have a rule book. This is pretty cool. I'm pretty excited. Got a crossfire at a yard sale recently. Got to get it in my booth. That's so cool. Yeah, it's awesome. Uh, good find. You ever heard of Tazos? I don't know if you had them over the states, but similar to Pogs, but with little slits at the ends of them. Hmm. We're out there. See, you know, I don't know. I can't recall. But if they ever came around here, I might have just had them in my bag full of Pogs. So I'll have to give that a Google and see. Hello from Salt Lake City. I remember taking my giant neon clear pog container to school. Fun stuff. Yes. Well, I'll go ahead and show you what, what, what some of the other stuff we've got here. Uh, if you didn't watch it, this stuff was sent to us in, for our mail time video, today's main channel video. And uh, I, I was like, we're going live with it. We're going live with it right now. We opened this yesterday, put it on video today. And uh, this is the real I'm like, awesome. That thing is super cool. This Look at this pog tube. And it's like... It snaps closed, and they all go right there. These all all the pogs that were in here are the ones that are on our playboard right now. But that's awesome, and and you can clip it on your belt. Could you imagine rolling up to elementary school and be like, "Let's play pogs"? Well, you know, when I was like, how old was I? Um, I was probably 12, 13, and I was very diehard into Yu-Gi-Oh. And I watched an episode, and Yu-Gi. It was just an opening scene where he like put his coat on, got dressed, and then put his belt on, and he had a deck box on his belt of his cards, of his deck. That's how he kept them. And you were just like, oh. I went and got my deck box, cut a slit in it, put them on my belt just like he did. I I wish I could go back and be cool in 1995 and put that on my belt. That would be so cool. So, so cool. All right. Um, it's Pogs in school and Pog shops in the mall. You remember Pog shops in the mall? That's cool. Um, that, that would be really, really cool to see. Show the slammer. We will. We'll show all the slammers. Uh, here in just a second. As soon as we get to playing, Hannah, Hannah and I will get to pick which uh, slammers we u are using. Um, we got a few of them. We don't, I, remember, I seem to remember when I was a kid having some really stupid ones. Like a slammer metal tube that was like that, right? Does anybody else remember like 
really stupid stuff like that with Pogs. I walked. I watched my Pogs VHS this morning, so yeah, ready to watch some Pog playing. I I don't know if we're gonna be able to make it as hype as your Pog VHS, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes. I was a big Pog collector. Still have them all. Fun to collect, not as fun to play. We used to trade them. Yeah, I I can imagine how fun it would be to trade them like Pokemon cards and stuff. Um, Star Wars Tazos were awesome. So they even had Brandon Tazos. Am I pronouncing that right? Tazos Tazos. Um, you can make some custom pogs on your 3D printer and send them to fans. I guess I could print some slammers on the printer. That could be cool. But I could print them with my machine and cut them on my Cricut. Uh, the hard part about that is getting the consistency of the size right. Because the thing about these pogs are is how perfectly equal all of them are. Yeah. Uh, that's awesome. It's awesome, awesome, awesome. Hey, Richard, thank for the 99 cent and the black cat. That's awesome. I'm going to span some hand bob for you. Check that out. Uh, I remember the remember the slammers that had like bubbles on top you could push in. See, that's what I'm talking about. The weird stuff. They would. Did you have any weird slammers? No, we really didn't. Ours were all just like circles. The coolest one we had was like, had like, um, like spikes on the sides. I, I'm pretty sure one of them like I had was like a chunk of aluminum or steel polished. So that's why I think it was aluminum. It was pretty shiny. They're just like a sticker on top. But it, but it was like, if if I use that on this plastic stadium right here, I'd break it. Yeah. This would this right here would be broken. I feel like it would just like shoot off yeah. somewhere and we would never, it would just destroy something. Look at that beauty. <laughs> did you have an official pause? No, now? I had no idea this stuff existed. We did. I didn't remember did, that really? we had one until we pulled this out of the box. Ours was like a, a sage green-ish color. Was it like this? Sealed. Yeah, it was, I think... Maybe black lettering? Alright, well we also have this too, which is either a giant... I remember having pogs that look like saw blades. Yeah, that's that's the shape I was trying to say. Holy crap, clean out crew, twenty dollars. Oh wow. You just bought dinner! <laughs> Thank you so much. What do you call a cow with no legs? Ground beef, big lols. Big lols. Uh thank you, Richard. Thank you, clean out crew. Uh full set of Jurassic Park pogs go for good loot. That's good to know. I'll have to uh, I'll have to remember that. But I just want to show you this. Is this a stadium, too? Like, is this meant to be played on? I bet. It's beautiful, whatever it is. Yeah. We might have to do one of our rounds on that. Uh, but it's hard to beat the ready-to-go stadium. Um, oh, man. My heart jumped, skipped a beat there. Uh, would you stay in the shower too long? Very nice. Yeah. I had no idea those stadium things existed. That's why, I, that's why when we opened them on today's video, I was like, What? Because I saw, actually, when we pulled it out of the box, I saw this. And I was like, sweet, Pog stuff, Pog champ, Poggers. Uh, and then I realized that it went on that thing, and I was just like, oh my gosh. Um, there were slammers on, with indents, yes. Um, is this a green well, one? Yeah, the, we, we showed that one. I remember that. As, uh, here's one. I don't know how well that will show up on this camera, but yes. There's one, which seems kind of silly. Um... <laughs> But this is going to raise some important points when we play here in a second. It's all about flipping them over. And I'm sure there's some more advanced rules. I'm going to read this little rule book with you guys. It's real short. There's like a couple little blurbs about how to play. But I imagine these next pages have some advanced rules. Because my question is, do you have to let go of the pog? Do you not? Can you like apply pressure? Where You know what I mean? Yeah. What's What's a foul? You know? Like what do you... I don't know. Is there out of bounds? Like, is there too aggressive? Is there a pog too big? I don't know. I don't know these things. And what's the strat? Is it like, do you want to like slam it really hard? Do you need to like slam it on the edge? Do exactly. You... I mean, uh, well, there obviously there's strategies to do it right, but I'm more interested in like what's allowed. And I'll, I'll point out what I mean here in a second. All right, let's read a couple more comments and then we're going to actually play our first round. Uh, my dad owns a manufacturing company, and back in the day, I would go visit and spend the day making giant slammers. Some of them were stupid big. <laughs> I just imagine a kid. It's like, you know, in Yu-Gi-Oh! in tournament play, used to, there was no limit the number of cards that you could have in your deck. Oh, right? Wow. You could come in with a fat stack like that, and it would be allowed. But two dudes showed up at a Yu-Gi-Oh! tournament once with a giant glass box. It was like 13 feet long. Three people, Two or three people had to carry it with that number of cards in it and it but it was all legal they had the right numbers not too many of anything so that's when 60 card limits were implemented They're so like, 
Let's talk about that. <laughs> so I imagine at tournament play back in the day, that probably happened. Some kid like you walked in with, with a pole and was like, ah! <laughs> like, um, sir, you cannot break the table and win. <laughs> oh. That's great. That's so good. Um, let's see. All right. There were slammers with indents. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had that slammer. I remember those slammers. Uh, so glad you guys. Uh, Jedi Manix, are you the one that sent this? Please let me know. I, I, I'd love to chat about where you got it and stuff. Um, you need to hold them in between your pointer and middle fingers. See, it almost feels like it's an anime now. Like, you know what I mean? Like, the the, the importance of the thing you're playing in an anime. Are we gonna get sent to the Shadow Realm? <laughs> Whoever loses goes to the shadow oh, room. No. But I, like the finger thing, it's just like you know, there's like a right way, and it's just like, you know, I don't know. I'm not gonna do my anime impression. It's so oh. good. Uh, all right, here we go. We played marbles and jacks when I was a kid. I find pogs very interesting. Yeah, my grandfather always had marbles. My grandfather collected marbles quite uh, passionately, so I'm somewhat familiar, you know, with playing those with him. But. Uh, Let's see. I still have more to send you guys. Love your content from. All right. Well, thank you so much. Thank you for sending those. Can't. Uh, I can't think enough. It, it, they're cool to have. It's gonna be awesome to actually sit here and play. It's like a childhood dream come true. So let's do it. Let's jump in and play. Hannah, I don't know how well. It, it's kind of far into our table. I've got long arms, so I can reach. But you might have to stand up and get up, get down on it. I'll be alright. All right. So I guess let's do this first. I'll let you pick the slammer first. Well, I, go ahead. I have I have a question because yeah. some of these. Hold on, hold on. I'm sorry. I, I want you to finish. But this was my collection prior to today, and there is a slammer in here, and I figured we'd put it into the mix. Though I'm kind of scared to show it to you because you're probably gonna pick it. <laughs> it's a it's bad a. Boom. That thing is a beast. Okay. Well, the thing is, I wonder how fair it is to have someone with this like plasticky slammer and someone with like a metal slammer well that's Should a we well, hold on. that's a great question but being as we have no idea what the physics of this actually are how they're gonna flip i have no idea how the pogs are gonna bounce off each other and flip it may be either or i feel like the heavier it is the better chance you have okay well maybe this will answer a couple questions let me read this real quick uh this is a little rule book that was included um, a few years ago at an estate sale, once I saw you like them, I had to send them your way. So you found these at an estate still. That's really cool. That's so, so cool. I'm so glad you stopped by for this video because I was so curious where you got them. All right. Um, it's more fun to play by the rules. Whether you decide to play for fun or for keeps, all players should agree to the basic rules and weight and thickness thicknesses before starting any pog milk cap game. I find it really interesting. Everything, every time it refers to pogs in here, it calls them milk caps. Yeah. It's interesting. Um, I'm sure there's quite specific reason for that. It's also traditional to shake hands before the game begins. Uh, the traditional rules. Each player must contribute an equal number of pog milk caps to a single common stack if possible. All milk caps should be stacked face up on an official World Pog Federation game board. Got it. Check. Check. Um... <laughs> Number one, to determine who goes first, flip a pog milk cap or play Rochambeau. Paper, scissors, rock. Paper, scissors, rock. That's not the right order. Rochambeau is great. I love calling it that, but paper, scissors, rock sounds funny. All right, let's flip one. Okay. Uh, heads or tails? I'm going to go with heads. You go first. Nailed it. Okay. Uh, the first player slams their kitty at the stack. There's some weird terminology here. Uh, all pog milk caps that land face down go to that player. Number three, all pog milk caps remaining face up are restacked for the next player's attempt to flip the stack. Uh, players alternate turns until every pog milk cap has been flipped and won. The player with the most pog milk caps is declared the overall winner. All right, okay. well, so since we don't really have split ownership of these pogs, pick uh, pick a slammer. Doesn't matter. I don't care if you go with the heaviest, the lightest, the middle, and then we'll pick out some pogs to stack up. While you do that, I'll read a couple more comments. I love the handshake. That was like, what's that artwork with the... Um, good evening, all. I was about 13 when these came out. Never understood them. Very interested to watch how it's done. 
Yeah, I, it's it's funny. Now that I know the rules and now that I know it's about trading and splitting them up with your friends and stuff, it all makes a little bit more sense, you know? It makes a little bit more sense to me. Uh, that's awesome. That's so awesome. I feel like, I don't know, I feel like even Stevens, we should both, like, pick these two because they are pretty similar. Well, we, okay, we can do that for the first match. You want to? I, yeah, I think so. Since right. we're, we're just kind of figuring this out. All right, we'll use, we'll use samesies for the first ones. Um, I guess go ahead and pick. How tall should our stack be? Somebody spam a number, 1 through 20. Pick a number. We're not going to go 20 high, are we? I feel like that's a lot. I feel like that's a good number. Yeah, how many is that? Though? I don't know. Does it even really matter? I feel like, I feel like, what does 10 look like? Stack up 10 of them. Because I feel like we should do, we're going to do the best two out of three. So each game we should like go increasingly higher, right? I don't know. Yeah, this is 10. So we had more than 20 in that stack. <laughs> Tall Gamer, thank you so much. Enjoy your channel. Keep up the great work. Thank you for saying so. And thank you for being around for a while. Haven't you been here for like ever? <laughs> I appreciate you hanging out and sticking around. Uh, there was something used on the tops of milk bottles back before car. Yeah, I guess whenever they made these this game up the first time, they just cut the tops of milk bottles up or something. That's pretty cool. Uh, I've seen a lot of 20, 24, 14, 13, 14. All right, let's do 14. Is that 10? Okay. This is, yeah, two stacks of 10. So 14 would be... <laughs> 20.5. Yeah. Cut one of them in half. I'm just kidding. Oh, Don't no. Do that. Um, <laughs> as tall as you want. Well, we'll go tall. We'll go tall at the end. Uh... So traditionally, would you split the stacks? Each each person would contribute seven from their collection. If Is we that... did fourteen, yeah, yeah. There, well, there's no, there's another page in the rule book explaining some of the deeper stuff, and I think we'll we'll read like Pog Baseball, whatever that means. We'll try that for subsequent rounds here in a minute. But I guess yes. Is that fourteen? Yes. All right, let's just do that. Um, you know, I didn't double check if they were all face up. Okay. Okay, yes. They look good. good. And mind you, these are all some really neat sports pogs. In fact, I don't know if we should be using the nice ones. They they look well played anyways. That'd be fine. Um, so we have to agree to one more thing. I didn't see this in the rule book. Because my... I think you have to let go of it before it touches the pogs. Okay. You know what I mean? Because yeah. the, the, the temptation is to be like that. Yeah. And that probably is no good. So you've got you've to gotta let go of it before it hits them. Okay. okay. Okay, okay, okay. I'm okay. nervous. I go first. All right, do it. All right. What's Three. your strategy? Wait, what's your strategy? I'm just going to yeet it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, go. Three, two, one. Okay. It's okay to look. So <laughs> I wonder, we have to, let's just agree on the rules. This one flew off. So if it falls off and it's upside down, do you still get it? Hmm. I feel like it's going to be hard to keep them on the board, though. But maybe that's part of the strategy. Because, I mean, maybe. you're still going to get four. Let's okay. go with that for the first Let's, match. I like it. Let's do it. Okay. okay. So, Hannah got four. That's pretty cool. Sweet. So, so we're down to ten. He said, I thought it was face down, but the rules are the rules. So, you mean you start face down and you got to flip them up? The rules said the opposite, but I guess it just depends on what you like. Players attempt to flip the stack. Players also make turns for... Yeah, I don't. It doesn't matter. We just gotta flip them the other way around. All right, here we go. Here we go. What are you gonna do? I'm kind of nervous. I don't know. There's a lot of strategy here <laughs> because since you went first, I get to hit a smaller stack, which is why maybe we should have started with a taller stack. Maybe. I don't know. We will in the next game. So I don't know. I don't have any idea. I'm gonna actually move some of these out of my way because I'm trying to get some force in here. Okay. Actually, I'll tell you. Here's my strategy. I'm gonna give it. I'm gonna give it all the downward force I can. Okay. I'm not even gonna. I feel like there's probably some like, some fancy hand tricks and ways to hold it and stuff. But like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it this, and I'm gonna try to just flip the heck out of it. I feel like I'm gonna give it too much force, and they're gonna fly all over the place. But now that we have this rule established that they have to stay on the board, that can change right. things. Right. Oh! <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> Pong champ! <laughs> Pong champ! 
poggers. Oh my god. <laughs> let me say, let me be the first to say this. I'm so good at this game. <laughs> Your pog, get it. That's play a game right there. Oh my god. I'm gonna have a heart attack. Ro they just went. <laughs> Rose, I'm gonna burst out of this shirt that you gave me. Sheboygan. Oh my god. Okay, well, um, I think it's safe to say I won. <laughs> Go first. Yeah, are you what if I just flip the whole stack? Alright, that was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. My I'm, my eyes are crying. You guys are gonna have to excuse me for a second. I'm gonna wipe my eyes off. <laughs> That's not even real. That's not physics. <laughs> That's not how this is supposed to work. He he said he turned sheets on. I tell you what, I'm gonna spam him with a Tendo. Check that out. Oh my, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I did. I typed in the cheat code on that one. Okay. Alright. Alright. Uh, okay. Let's, uh, we'll chat for a, a minute more and then we will, uh, we'll do it round two. But we have to decide. You guys comment below how should we play the second, the second round. <laughs> Richard. Thanks for the 199. He said Pog Champ. Pog Champ. <laughs> that brings an all new meaning to Pog Champ. Oh, man. There was another brand of them. They had a weird name, but it escapes me. Is that the ones that you guys were talking about earlier? I guess there were a couple. Um, so good. So good. Let's. Uh, there's some more rules here. Some like tournament rules. These just for fun rules are endorsed and followed in all official tournament sanctioned. By the World Pog Federation. I can't breathe. I've laughed myself out of energy. Um, man. Okay. Uh, the first player... Uh, each pair of opposing players starts with a single stack of 11 Pog Classic Milk Caps placed face up. The first player throws their Kenny at the stack. I don't like that term. What does that even mean? I guess that's the thing. The that, that was probably the name of the... I don't know. All milk caps landing face down are added to that player. So I guess this is in tournament rules. You flip your own. I guess in sanctioned play, they didn't want kids taking each other's pogs. So each player had their own stack. But 11 is less than we just did. I flipped about 11 of them over on my own. Yeah. Huh. Interesting. I don't think we're going to do that. Players alternate turns. The first player to flip six milk caps is the winner of the round. The first player to win three rounds wins the match of the game. Note, in some tournaments, a uh, time limit is also imposed. None of that interests me. So I guess we're just going to do what we did, uh, but go with bigger, increasingly larger stacks. Um, let's see. I want to donate, but it's not available in my region. You've done enough, Rose. It's fine. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, oh, man. Blue Eyes Pog Champion. That's what I'm talking about. Dallas is a professional <laughs> Pog player after that one. I'm ready for the champs. I missed my calling. I want to go back to 1994. I was still about this big anyways. <laughs> I want to go back. I want my chance. Um, flip it like a quarter onto the stack. I, I don't know if I need to change up my strategy on the next one. Matter of fact, let's let's decide together real quick how big the next stack's going to be. You want to go double it. You want to just double? Yeah. So, 28. Well, I was just going to eyeball it. You think that's about right or you want to go more? Well, let's see how many it is. You gonna count them? Three. All right. Just give them a count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, it... eight, nine, ten. People keep asking 11. about the. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Oh. People keep asking about the eight ball slammer, and I remember it too, but I don't know if we have one here or not. I haven't actually. I haven't. Oh my God! It's a Power Ranger slammer. I have some Power Ranger balls. I'm gonna put that aside. <laughs> that might be my good luck one. Is that all the slammers? No. Uh, okay, yeah. I thought there was a stack. Um, so. Is see this? Oh, yeah. No? Is, it, is that Power Rangers? No. Oh. Uh, also, I'm, here's another slammer. Is it 8-Ball? Oh, it's, uh, that's my slammer. That's, oh. that's, that's me lucky slammer. Uh, no, we don't have an 8-Ball one here. But I know the one you're talking about. I definitely had the same one, too. For sure. Did you count them? This is a stack of 30. Okay, 30 sounds good for the next round. Nice round number. 
Um, oh man, my chest still hurts from that laugh. Yeah, Power Ranger Slammer. You know, so you know the packs of cards that come with the Power Ranger pogs inside of them. I guess one of the, I guess there's slammers in some of them. That's pretty cool. That'd be cool. Uh, happy to see you both like all the stuff. City. Yes, very much so. Thank you so much. I had a big cylinder case full of pogs. Was it like this? Did That's what I had. We had a. It was about that tall, was and it, a, it had an eight ball looking lid on it. It was pretty cool. Did you have a, a front opener? I did not. <laughs> um, but Johnny, which uh, which package was you, my man? Johnny, Johnny, Johnny. Uh, up, up, down, back, forward. Yes. That's the cheat code. Oh man. All right. I guess let's jump on to the second round. I, I don't want to delay this. I feel like I feel like I've got all the momentum right now. Do we change slammers? Do we do plastic round now? I don't. I feel like. Do we have to do the same slammer? I mean. I don't know. I feel like it's gonna matter less as the stack gets taller. Cause at a certain point, physics aren't gonna allow a top like two thirds of it to go upside down right. unless you're a genie, which I currently feel like I am. I'm probably going to get stomped at. Like, I think I just used up all my luck. I'm going to go with the Mega Slammer then. You're going to go heavy. Okay. It's just like us in Mario I, Kart. Like, we'll I'm we'll see how it goes. You use the heaviest Slammer we have. Now, let me see this. This thing is like, I don't know. It's like a third of a pound. Like, it's very heavy. It is. Um, I guess you just try it and uh, I'll stay with a Lucky. Cool beans. Because it has brought me great luck so far. Do we want to flip to see who goes first again or do you want me to just go first again? I guess let's flip for it, just okay. to keep it, just to keep it up there. Heads or tails? You call it this time. Heads. I called it last time. Heads. So I guess I go first. What if I flip them all? Well, then it's ripped me. <laughs> what if I flip them all? Okay. Are you ready? Let's do it. What did I do last? I don't even know what I did. I don't know. I was so taken aback when they all flipped over that I don't know what I did. Okay. I think I did this, right? Okay. Shoot! Oh, I don't. No. I don't think I got any. Oh if, no! All right, let's just here. Just put a stack back on top. Make sure they're all face up. So I like I said, I I, I should have quit. I should have got up and walked out of the room on the last one. Because now I've brought shame back to the dojo. All right. I'm not sure though. It's gonna be hard to keep them on. I guess if you have to keep them on, you can't hit them that hard. True. Hmm. This is very curious. Rip. F's in chat for me, please. <laughs> F's in chat. Go All right. Go Three, ahead. two, one. Okay. I flipped none of them. You got, well, you get that one. Okay. It's still on the game board, so you get one. And I lost the slammer. Yeah, you're going to have to get up carefully and go get that one. Hmm. There's bugs everywhere. I'm going with a different strategy this time around, all right? Uh, Johnny sent the Charizard. Where is it? I did put it in the box. I know exactly where it's at, Johnny. Thank you so much. That's that is a... the most beautiful piece of cardboard we have gotten ever. Yeah, it's it's our prized possession now. The house catches on fire. She's getting pants. And Mochi, I'm getting the Charizard. Uh, Richard Reed, <laughs> believe in the heart of the Pogs. I got it this time. I've got a different strategy. All right, I'm still going to... Where's I lost my Slammer, too. Oh, no. We're having a, a... Here, I'm going to use your heavy one. Okay. But here's what I'm going to do. See this? Yeah. I'm going to do... I'm going to let gravity do it. And it did nothing. Rip. All right. It's your go. Could you imagine if this was actual tournament play and, like, something was on the line? <laughs> if, you, if you had to get Grandpa Moto out of the Shadow Realm. <laughs> <laughs> the Yu-Gi-Oh! references will not cease. Oh, my God. All right. Go. Wait, did those spill out? <laughs> I don't know. I think you got one. I think you got one. So clearly round one was a fluke. I, I guess so. I guess we should have quit after that. Um, let's set these aside so we can stop being confused. I think, I bet, like, in some official tournament play, like, they're going to, like, want you to stay on the board. I really don't know. Here we go. This is your original slam, right? Here. Probably. Here we go. Back to my original. I don't understand how this is possible. I got one finally, though. All right, it's your turn. I'm going to go back to, to these. 
We can't. This is not going well. <laughs> I, I don't understand how you're supposed to keep them on the board. Okay. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> redo. Redo. Do we give him a mulligan? They want a Joey Wheeler impression. Oh, a Joey Wheeler? You should do the rest of this round with Joey Wheeler. Okay. okay. Here we go. I'm going to go with the lighter one because nothing else is working. Oh. No, but that doesn't seem possible. See, there's no way these this flips those over unless you hold on to it after it's... I don't know. Maybe Here we go. It. I'm going to try a different method. Did you see him do a flip? They did. They did a flip and landed back face up. Oh, they're vexing you. Oh my goodness. This game is cursed. I'm going to the Shadow Realm, boys. We have to rescue Mai from the Shadow Realm. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, there you go. Your turn. Knock him out. Just don't knock him off the table. <laughs> well, that looked good, but none of them flipped over. <laughs> this is rude. Okay, I got it this time. Give me, give me, where's my OG one? You know what? You know what we're going to have to do? Let's lose the stadium for a minute because we're bad at this. As beautiful as it is, let's, because some of them are flipping over. They're just flying away. Yeah. So, and we don't know which ones are which. So maybe if we just do this. Just try that. Your turn. All right. Whatever flips over is yours. What are you going with? Show them, show them your... It's a metal. Tindo doesn't know his own strength. Yeah, I've sent like three pogs into the other room. I'm gonna, Are, I'm you gonna gonna Are you doing gravity? Are you doing gravity? Oh! Gravity works. That worked out well. <laughs> gravity works. Uh, all right. Let me replace the few that flew off the table. We're going to be finding pogs for years. Should I try gravity or should I? What should I do? I don't know. It's I don't think choice. so. Since we're going raw table. You lost your mojo, Tito. I, I had I used up all my luck at once. The first turn. <laughs> Beginner's luck. Oh. If you guys could see how many pogs are on the ground in front of our table right now. All right, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six. How many do you have? All of them? I have a lot. All right, well, there's my stack. Show them yours. I have about ten. All right, I'm going to replace the ones that just flew off the table. And it's your go. I'm going to do a plastic. You gonna do a plastic? Are you gonna do gravity again? I don't know. No. We never use the stadium. It bounces too much. I'm learning that. It does. It's beautiful. It's beautiful to look at, but it's hard. Oh! You missed. You, missed. you get a redo. You get one. I spewed it into the table. You get. <laughs> oh man. I'm gonna. I'm gonna drive it sideways. You nothing. Did, you did nothing. I think two flew off. All right, put them back. Here we go. Make sure they're all face up. Oh. You're going to give me freebies, Hannah. <sighs> Don't give me freebies. All right, here we go. I guess I'll try plastic this time, too. I'm, I'm going to do plastic with the with the finger grooves. Are you down? Is okay. anybody... Are we down? Okay. I'm kind of nervous, actually. Come on. Do you feel like the larger stack is harder to flip? I don't know. No, I mean, it's like the top ones are easy to flip off and it gets smaller. What did I do the first time? I don't know. You go real quick. I mean, I'm going to try something magic. I'm going to give it everything I got. That okay. works. Okay, magic human. I was going to, I tried something. What did you do? You're I'm not going to tell me, are you? A short throw on the edge. Okay, I got one. You know what keeps happening? Somebody play this back in slow-mo. It's like the fourth time I've watched six of them flip up and then land back down face up. <laughs> it's like, I don't know. It's like physics. It's like physics and stuff. Okay, your go. Your stack is way bigger than mine. I think if I flipped all those upside down, you might still win. Two. Two. All right. Maybe I could relive my former glory now that the stack is, uh, you know. Is a solid 14. Yeah. Here we go. We're trying too hard. That's, I think that's what it that's is. That's what it is. 
every time you just give it to it, it kind of just is like, meh. But then if you just kind of, you know, toss it over there, it's like. I want to do a thinner one. Okay. You're going to go down to thinner? Well, that was Did, Didn't get effective. anything? All right. I feel like to these have, if I'm going to, so how many is this? Four or five? Five. If you're going to make these go upside down, they've actually got to bounce off the table, right? I'm going to try to give it a lot of force right here on the edge. You think? Okay. I got one of them. The other one's flipped. Did you see it? Yeah. It flipped all the way around. <laughs> so that's too much force, right? They need to just medium flip. Right. Medium boom. Medium boom. No big boom. Small boom. <laughs> <laughs> Did no, I was looking at the chat. It when... bounced, and then it hit one edge of one of them, and it just flung it in the air. It scares me every time. I've got one. Okay. We're down to three. Okay. Big lol! <laughs> that was dumb luck. I'm a cheater, cheater, pumpkin eater. I bet this is part's going to get hard, isn't it? To get these to flip? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It was not effective. It was not effective at all. There's no way. This is hard. Maybe we can hold on to it. Got one. Are you allowed to do that? That's what I'm so curious about. I don't think we. I don't know. Maybe whenever it's just so few of them, it's allowed. Sure. <laughs> it's kind of hard. Okay. Well, let's count them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Are you okay. kidding me? Your stack is way bigger than One, mine. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, <laughs> 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. Sorry about okay. your luck. It's tie game, though. That's cool. All right, let's chat for a minute, and then we'll, uh, we'll remake up the rules for the last one. Uh, someone said we never restacked them. How they landed uh, was how we played them. Well, that's that's cool, but how did you keep score as to who? Because, I don't know. We're we're playing by this somewhat official rules. <laughs> I don't know how official this is. Uh, that's why the stadium is bouncy. Maybe we should go back to the stadium for the last one. I just... The stadium was confusing us because... I don't know. It was just hard to tell what was what. I guess we'll try to use the stadium. It is very bouncy, by the way. Yeah. Um, very, very bouncy. Look at that. Um, I guess we'll use the stadium for the bounce, and we'll just try our hardest to track them down. But we were using the stadium. They were bouncing off the table. There's nothing on this other side of this table. So they were just... There's like... Pog, it's Pog City down there on the floor. It's real bad. Gameaholic, what's up? Welcome, welcome. Uh, we're about to play our third and final round, our tiebreaker. And uh, whoever wins is the official Pog champ. We need more Joey Wheeler. <laughs> you, you, you'll have to do the last match and nothing but Joey Wheeler. It's, it's, it's hard. I don't know how to do a... I don't actually know a Brooklyn accent. I just know things that Joey says. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> I think it must have been hiding under a rock somewhere in the 90s because I first heard of Pogs like two years ago. That's kind of funny. I It must have, I think it was such a fast, bright burning flame in the middle of its popularity. It was here and gone like fidget spinners. Yeah. You're going to have plenty of kids probably that don't remember fidget kinners because it was, hello? Hello. Fidget kinners? Fidget spinners because they were just so fast. They just burnt up so fast and they were gone. Uh, so Pogs were probably quite similar to that. Um, say baby dragon. <laughs> my baby dragon. My red eyes. My time wizard. <laughs> That's a good one. I love that one. <laughs> I played time wizard and baby dragon and turned him into thousand year dragon. <laughs> <laughs> She's pretty much memorized the show. <laughs> oh. Um, let's, uh, I'll keep reading some comments. Let's stack a high one. That sounded like it, yep. I was suggesting something else. <laughs> How high is high? High. Let's see what we like, can get. Like Snoop Dogg high? Yeah. Sure. <laughs> Same. Oh, man. This is about to get wrecked. I'm a little bit scared. You guys, it's not going to look that crazy to you guys. Stack them up. Are we going to stack all of them? We'll see how high we can stack before, you know. Like Jenga? 
We gotta do this for real. We're not pog champs unless we go high, right? Oh no, 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 they no! They won't. No. They're not all perfectly even, so it's not gonna go as probably all the way up. Like we, we can't do a four foot up. I don't um, know why this reminds me of pizzas and Ninja Turtles. I just feel like pizza and Ninja like Turtles. Like Ninja Turtles usually had stacks of pizzas. I don't know why. Okay, cool. Ninety stuff. All right, is that as high as we can get? I'm a little afraid to ask. You guys why. comment below. Is that enough, or do we need to go higher? I think we could go a little higher. It would just, we have to like, we have to finesse it. We have to convince it to do our bidding. What episode of Yu-Gi-Oh! are y'all on? We're about to start season five. We just saw darts be defeated. Well, you saw it. I fell asleep. She was sleeping. It got late. We've been stayed up too late. I woke up and I was like, did Yu-Gi defeat darts? And Dal was like, yes. And I was like, shoot. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um... Let's see. I'm uh, I'm a little bit nervous about how high this is. We just gotta keep it off. I wish we could. We should have put like cardboard on the other side. We should have. Hindsight. Yeah, we should have put a. You're gonna be cleaning up pogs from here to Christmas. Oh, probably longer. It's like pogs and Nerf darts. <laughs> you just find them all over the place. Add more pogs. Let's go. Well, I guess we'll just do all of them. You put your hands t towards the bottom and try to keep them. Clean out crew says higher. So that's upside down. Okay. Don't fall, don't fall, don't fall. It's like Jenga, I'm scared. Oh, they said put them in the tube and then flip it over. Well, we're already taller than our tallest tube, so that's not going to work. But I like your thinking. Sounds like you know what you're doing. Oh my gosh. Hey, we only have like 10 more. Let's go. I just don't know how this is This is going to be bad whenever they flip. Yeah, you guys you guys can't tell how high it is because you're looking straight top down. But this is like 7 inches. It's like 100 pogs. Oh my god. Oh! No! Alright, so we're going to have to make this stand and make this be it. This is a big boom. This is mega boom. Mega All right, boom. We're going to have to take a few off actually. All right, Hannah. That's for all the marbles. It's about six inches. Uh, Ethan, what's up? Welcome, welcome. Long time no see. Uh, I've been watching Yu-Gi-Oh! again this week. Heck yeah. I've been enjoying my rewatch. Hello from New Zealand. Love all your content, guys. Thank you so much for saying so. Uh, then playing games like these and card games would make a great Twitch stream. Yeah, it would. It'd be fun. I'll have to do that sometime. We've got, you know, a lot of you guys follow us over on Twitch, too. We just haven't streamed on there in probably a year. Two stacks. All right, here we go. Here we go, here we go. Hannah, are you going first on this one? Are we flipping to go first? Why are you using so many? Because we can. Because we have them. Because, because why not? Alright, do it. Uh, just don't, just go easy. Don't hit them off. Let's just uh, maybe have a barrier. Are you ready? Are you just going to do gravity? Hey, some of them are upside down. We're not doing the stadium rules we made up earlier. You can have the ones that land upside down. So, those are all yours. Yay! Um, we got to keep these away, though, so they don't get confusing. All right, let's stack them back up. Check them on the way to make sure that there's none that are upside down. Um, so, how many was that? One, two, three, four. You got six or seven. This is it. Whoever wins this is Pog Champ. Okay. This is for all the marbles. This is for the title. Alright. Stack them for me good. I'm going to use old Lucky that got me through the first round. Go big or go home. I wish we could go higher, but gravity is currently not allowing it. These are well played. Like, whoever, uh, the, the previous owner and stuff played with these because they're, you know, they're used. They're, they're not straight perfectly. Are we it's ready? It's a little topsy-turvy, but I think you'll be alright. Let me... Same? Okay. I think I'm going to give it a, a yoink right here on okay. the side. Boom! Okay, I didn't get as many as you, but I got some. Well, it's a good thing we put this barrier up. Hannah, you're really good at this. <laughs> I got four, she got like ten. Alright, stack them back up. Somebody needs to go clip the first round. We need to just act like that's all that happened. So I can just say that I'm a pog wizard. That's all I'm saying. 
You just need to like loop it so that every single time you're like, alright, it's my turn. It's just gonna be that clip plays so that it always happens. Right, exactly. Okay. I'm a little bit nervous. It's your turn now. I got it, I got it. Hold on. Hold for camera. Hold for camera and go. Oh! oh! Alright, well this is slightly more confusing. You got some. I made a mess. You got... You got those. You see any more? No. Okay. Alright, stack them back up. I'm gonna get most of them this time. I feel like it might go better now that there's a smaller stack. I mean, it's still a huge stack. Right. Alright. Alright. Are we ready? Your turn. Okay. Where's okay. the barrier wall? I'm, I'm a little bit nervous about this. I'm not going to lie. Gotta, gotta think of what, what the strat is. Oh, we lost a few. Ooh, I don't know. If, I guess those just don't count because we're not going to go chase them. Alright, that was, that was an okay stack. I'm right behind you now. You're never gonna win. This needs to be played inside of a box. <laughs> you know what I mean? In like a white clinical room so that you can just find everything. <laughs> so that you don't miss anything. All right, it's your go. All right. Loser eats a spicy chicken sandwich. Why not the winner? I know, right? That sounds like, <laughs> that sounds like, like a reward. Don't threaten me with a good time. <laughs> All right, it's your go. Oh! <laughs> no, I got one. You got one. All right, that's cool though. You're giving me a chance to catch up. To regain my former Paul glory. No! I don't feel like I'm competitive. It's, <laughs> it's fine. You just want that spicy chicken sandwich. Yeah, that sounds great. <laughs> All right, are we ready? It's my turn, right? Yes. Okay. Here we go. Um, here we go. Here we go. What do I do? Ooh! I didn't get much. I you, got one. You got oh, two. got two. All right. We're going to have to change our strategy or this is going to be 13 hours long. I think you're winning the award for most pogs lost. <laughs> most pogs on the floor. <laughs> hey, but it still makes the stack smaller. This is true. Alright. Okay. Here we go. Get it. I'm just gonna do a little baby one. And you guys, while you're watching. Oh no! Ooh. That was pretty good. Make sure you hit the like button. Help this video grow a little bit. Get a little bit more attention. Uh act like pogs are cool. Help us make hit the like button so we can make pogs cool again. I'm gonna revitalize the trend. Here we go. Are you ready? I did nothing. 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 I just keep trying to hit it on a different angle. All right. Half of the pogs are gone, and we don't have them. That means half of them are on the floor. I think I'm gonna do like a, like a toss up. All right, do it. A toss. Up. What? That's not gonna work. <laughs> what? Big lols. Big lols. Big lols right Duh. there. Alright. We're gonna we're gonna get through this real quick and we'll do a little bit more chatting before we get out of here. Um Alright. I gotta give it a little more oomph, I guess, don't you think? Like, cause we're not doing nothing. Here we go. Nothing. None. What? Alright, we're going back to no stadium. Maybe let's save the stadium for like final five. I'm gonna make a I'm gonna make a Pog Championship TV show. Alright, your go. Pog oh! Come on! What the heck? That went well. That went very well for you. <laughs> Alright, well at least the look at how there's like three of her. There's like three yeah. of this pretty lady. They really like that swimsuit model. 
I didn't ever think about models on pogs, but there is a lot of them. Look how big your your stack is bigger than the stack that's left. Okay. Be jealous. Here we go. Whoa! Hey, stacks, stacks. Those are mine. My stack's still not as big as yours. It looks like, you know what? If I win all that's left, my stack won't still won't be as tall as yours. So I think that means you win, right? That's Hannah's stack. <laughs> They're so hard to hold. There's my stack. I mean, yeah. All right, we you... might potentially tie, but... All right, well, well, if I knock them all over, which I'm not going to do... Is this going to be the last round if I win any of them? Then it's I your win. turn right now, right? Yeah. I guess next pog you win. <laughs> well, you got two. <laughs> all right. We're going to have to practice and do this again. What if, what if the whole thing had been as exciting as the first round, though? I know. <laughs> Oh, man. Well, you guys, I tell you what, you guys are going to have to come up with some better rules for us to play, and we'll do that on the next one. Uh, I think that'll be the new rule. If you guys see us pick up Paul's, Pogs in the thrift store whatsoever, um, you got to hold us to it. We have to come home and play with them. We have to go live when we go home and play with them. Or else. Oh, man. My heart hurts. All right, well, guys, let's chat a little bit more before we get out of here. You guys tell me if you've brought home anything cool like Pogs from the thrift store, from the yard sales, etc., 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 Michael Lawson, welcome, welcome. Those green glasses are looking good, my man. Uh, if you guys found anything cool at the thrift store like this, um, I just knew when we pulled these out in mail time yesterday, we had to go live today. I just knew we had to. Did you Did you have fun with them? Yeah. The other, I mean, honestly, it's like it's it's not unlike Pokemon cards. I like collecting them. I like playing, but I lean more towards collecting. So yeah, I want to. Um, the gentleman who sent them to us also, there's one page, and I didn't know, though I shouldn't, I should have. There's like regular binder pages for Pogs. So I got to get some more of these so we can put our good stuff uh, on display. I think that'll be awesome. Hannah's Pog Champ. So what do we do for trophy? Why don't you go get the shark trophy so I can present it to you? Okay. <laughs> we can have a ceremony to wrap this up. Cool. We have a trophy. We have a trophy. Um... She needs a t-shirt that says Pog Champ, doesn't she? That'd be hilarious. If you had to choose one Pog to get tattooed on your arm, which would it be? That's what I'm talking about, Jay Fox. Hey, Bob, for the win. I'm going to span it. This is our best custom emoji. Hand Bob. Span the hand bobs. And then we'll do boo. Ten bro. That looks bad. Whatever boo nine means. Found a first gen Yu-Gi-Oh dual disc a while ago for five bucks. Hey, that's like find of the month right there. Um, that's a really good find. I've been trying to. I last couple I found I sold. It was before I got back into Yu-Gi-Oh. Now I need one to hang back here. So I'm looking for a, a dual disc as well. If you guys are interested in Yu-Gi-Oh dual discs, go Google new dual disc. I don't know what to tell you to find it, but Hasbro or whoever made a new remodel, higher quality one. Are you guys ready for Hannah's crowning? Um, Jacob, thank you so much for the four ninety nine. You guys inspired me to start a reseller channel. Well, thank you so much for saying so. Uh, you guys check Jacob's channel out. Um, thank you so much for that. Um, that'll buy some polish for Hannah's trophy. Are you ready for your trophy? Are you ready for this? Can you tell what it is? <laughs> -da -da! We need a plaque. Who, said, who we, sent us this? What's her name? Um, Jacqueline. Jacqueline. I was just... Uh, she, Jocelyn. She, Jocelyn. I knew that was wrong. <laughs> I was like, that's why I was sitting here thinking. I was like, it's not right. Jocelyn sent us this trophy a long time ago for us to award to each other whenever we play games. And so, Hannah, you're a Pog Champ. <laughs> we need to put a plaque on it that says Pog Champ. You're first place. I'm second place, though. You are. <laughs> Out of two. Out of two. <laughs> Second place is just first place loser. Yeah, exactly. Uh, <laughs> thank you so much, Clean Out Crew. Uh, found a Lego NASA Saturn set at a friend's being checked for the completeness. Uh, that's a lot of work, isn't it? Checking for the completeness. Uh, pants versus Pogs next time. We should just stack them up and put the cats on the table. Oh my god. Why don't you go, grab, why don't you go grab one of them? We'll do a quick experiment. Oh. Whichever one you can find. We'll see how they interact. You guys have the best ideas. 
Cats vs. Pogs. That's what I'll rename this video after the live's over. We'll see if we can clickbait some more people into watching it. But see, I don't think he's going to be interested unless it's really tall. I keep, I'm keep, i bad at this. I'm really bad at this. You know what I'm going to probably do? I'm going to probably clip, clip the clip of me flipping the first stack over as well as I did and put it on Instagram. Like I'm actually good at this. All right. Set the kitty down. I accidentally brought a little toy with me because it was stuck to his tail. Well, all right. Put him on the table. Facing the pogs. Stuck to my shirt. There we go. Look at this toe. Look at right. it. What are you going to do? Knock him over. He's not interested. He's going to jump off. He's not interested. Okay, bye. Sorry. We Hey, we tried. You asked for it and we tried. That's all I'm saying. Crown the pog queen. You, that's what you need is a crown, isn't it? Um, the lone shark. That's funny. Uh, Hannah Bob. Pog Princess. Now we need a. All I've got. We have custom emojis for uh, channel members, and so we have we have Hand Bob. But now it needs to be Pog Bob. Pog Bob. I'll change it to that. What do you think? Hand Bob. Try playing blind. Fl I'm terrible at it with my eyeballs. Um, we just be missing a lot. Pogs in corn cases for your keychain. Ooh, Ooh, yeah, like lock them up in the little plastic thing in the keychains. I like what you're thinking. Oh my gosh, Jacob. Makes money. Clearly, you do make some money. Thank you so much for that. Um, Twenty. We've got dinner two nights in a row now. Um, that's crazy. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate you being here. I don't even know what to say about the money. Thank you. So cool. I mean, but thanks, thanks for being for watching. <laughs> I can't believe you're even watching, much less participating. Um, thank you so much. Um, Have a victory screech. <laughs> You got you got a Rugrats shirt on. I did that on the internet once, <laughs> and I've done it so many times since. Um, There's gonna be a compilation video of me doing that. Right. <laughs> oh. What Lord. just happened? That's so great. Um, oh my goodness. Pogs one, pants zero. <laughs> <laughs> pants just forfeited. That's awesome. Um, well, guys, thank you so much for hanging out with us. Uh, it's about dinner time, so let's uh, let's chat a little bit more before we go. Um, a couple things coming up on the channel. We have another trade-in video where we trade in some stuff that's not music or instruments. We trade in some actual trash, try to get some video games for it. What else have we already kind of shot or are shooting? We're going to go to the bins a couple times this week. The big box? The big box. How could I forget that? If you guys remember the last week or so, we um, bought a big bins box from the Good Goodwill Bins, and uh, we opened it today. We made a whole video about it. So tomorrow, that'll be tomorrow's video. So make sure you got your notifications turned on. You can come back tomorrow and check that video out tomorrow. Uh, but real quick before we go, final question. You guys comment before we get out of here. I would love to know. Um, can you think of any other game weirdness like this that we should stream? I mean, obviously, we could stream some video games. I don't know what it is. We never really com hard commit to streaming video games. But, like, I'd do what we just did here again in a second tomorrow. Like, I like this kind of thing. So, what kind of weird stuff could we go to the thrift and come home and play? I mean, we could go buy board games, but I don't know. It's also not as exciting. This, I mean, because there's nothing quite like Pogs. I don't know. What else is there? Make some suggestions before we get out of here. We'll consider doing it. Um, we'll definitely play Pogs again in the future. A, when we find some at the thrift, or B, when we have a cool idea how to make our own. That'd be another good reason to play. If you can uh, claim the title. Maybe next time. Maybe I can get the shark trophy back from you. What do we even do with it? It's mine. We need removable plaques that say our names we so, we, so we can switch them in and out. Just get some tape. <laughs> Just tape right on, like, gaff tape and put it on the front of it? That'd be funny. Um, let's see. Miss the stream. Well, uh, thanks for stopping by anyways. I appreciate you coming by. Uh, SpongeBob Boat Bash. We played that one. What's for dinner tonight? Kung Pao Chicken. Kung Pao Chicken. Uh, we've been trying to experiment a little bit. Cooking slight. We're pretty boring eaters. Like, I kid you not, for three or four weeks in a row, I mean, we ate the same thing for dinner. Just chicken, green beans, and or uh, broccoli. And we just cooked the chicken a little different or seasoned it a little different. And we, we're kind of boring in that way. Um, but Hannah... 
Hannah got a wild hair tonight. She wanted to cook some Kung Pao chicken. It might be awful, but we're going to try it. We're going to try I mean, I'll look at me. I'll eat whatever it is. It'll be fine, I'm sure. Um, those one-off card games you keep finding, like the Minecraft. Didn't think about that. That's a good one. We the Bop It Challenge. Are you good at Bop It? Okay, you're talking... I thought of Rock'em Sock'ems. Ooh. Is that the, the big... The little... The plastic robots? Or maybe that's the... <laughs> Yeah, what are the the balloon gloves? Oh no! <laughs> that's what came to my that mind. Would hurt me. That's what came to my mind when you said that. Um, oh gosh! But yeah, no, bop it, twist it. Yeah, we could do that. But that'd be kind of that'd be a bit silly for a lie, but we could do it. Um, it'd I be think, very annoying. <laughs> well, yeah, <laughs> it'd be a lot of noise. Um, I think I'm gonna start just trying to pay attention a little bit more while we're at the thrift, just to find things for these kinds of videos. Just because I like doing it, I really do. Uh, a local recipe, yeah, sure, send it to us. We'll, or we could just go live next week and cook dinner live. Uh, that's that stuff's always a little weird, but we did that once, kinda, with some chicken wings. It was weird. It was cool. It worked out. Uh, Centerholic cinnamon rolls are awesome. Give it a try. Those are too delicious for dessert. I like the sound of it. So we I, can't talk about cinnamon rolls because that's literally my favorite dessert in the world. Yeah, it is. And then we'll eat them all. I've been trying to cut back the sugar. I've been doing really well, mind you. I don't think I've had almost anything with sugar in it whatsoever until yesterday because Rose sent us cookies and now I've ate them all. But Oops. I'll be all right. I'll be all right. Uh, you should use a link cable and hook up two Game Boys so you can battle Pokemon. That would be fun. I have link cables and I have multiple Game Boy Advance, but do I have the games? That's the hard part. Hungry, and I, I have some of them, but I don't know which ones. Uh, that's great. Crossfire. They want us. I don't. What is Crossfire? Uh, we were talking about that at the beginning of the stream. So it's like a, it's a, it's a game where you load this little, little plastic star. Thing. It's kind of like Beyblade, but you shoot it out of a little thingy and it like. Is a board game? Yeah. Okay, so here's a commercial for it. I wonder if we can mute it. Nope, no ads. Nope, nope, nope. Okay. We're getting local political ads. Oh my god, that's on fire. Yeah, so oh. you gotta like shoot the little balls at the thingies and try to... So we gotta find this. This is a board game. To find all the little metal balls in the box though would be impossible right okay well we'll have to we'll have to take a look for it i don't know i, I don't know anything about it i thought i did earlier when you guys were talking about it but i looked at that i've never seen that before in my life dice masters was a fun game i like the sound of that uh i finally got my hands on the Yu-Gi-Oh game for the switch it's good do you like it listen a lot of people the Yu-Gi-Oh game for the switch a lot of people were like oh i don't like this a lot of people were looking for a general Yu-Gi-Oh experience the new Yu-Gi-Oh game the utility of this game is you go play all the matches from the tv show with the decks of the people that you're playing as so like joey versus kaiba you play with joey's deck versus kaiba's deck it's neat for that person and i played it while re-watching the series so double awesome uh, but some people, I've talked to a lot of people that are just Yu-Gi-Oh players that are like, I don't care. But I'm glad you got yourself a copy. Uh, what else? What else? Soccer boppers are the gloves. Yes, sock em bop em. Soccer boppers. What did I say earlier? Sock em boppers. We thought it was the um, uh, rock em sock em robots. So okay. you can definitely see how that gets confusing. Well, let's, I guess let's Google it. Right? Rock. Rock'em, Sock'em. See, it's that's robots. Yeah, so Sock'em Boppers. Sock'em Boppers. Who thought that was a good idea? <laughs> Here we go. Let's put marshmallows on the ends of kids' hands and let them beat the crap out of each other. Notice none of these kids are just nailing each other in the face in this commercial. Oh my god, that, we, that kid almost did. You know for a fact that's what we were doing back in 1995. Just smashing each other well, on the Well, that'd be a little lopsided, though. I guess comment below if you'd like to see me sock hand in the face with, a, with one of those. <laughs> <laughs> Some domestic violence. Right. Ivan, thank you so much for the four ninety nine, my friend. Glad you're here. Thanks for stopping by. Um, oh, man. Jacob, good night. Thanks for stopping by. We're about to wrap this bad boy up. We're an hour ten in. It's dinner time. I just wanted to say 
Thank you guys once again so much for being here. Thanks for, for participating. They said Monopoly. That would be good, I guess. But how would we... We'd have to do some altered rules so we could actually play the game in an hour rather yeah. than... Unless you want an ongoing live stream series once a week for the rest of forever. Um, all right, guys. Peace out. Ivan, again, thank you. Uh, Jacob, one more time, thank you. Clean out crew, thank you. Um, you guys rock. Thank you so much for being here. Come back next time. I don't know next time we're going to go live. I mean, we're trying to do it once a week, but it's hard to make those promises because as soon as we promise you we'll be here, we're not going to. But for all of you that did stop by tonight, thank you so much. We'll see you on the next one. You guys rock. Peace out.